Hey Wingsters and welcome to this video where I want to show you how to write an algorithm that computes the Fibonacci series in one line of Python code. So this will be a, an awesome video, you will learn a lot, a lot about um, Python one-liners and we will address a, a very interesting function, the reduce function in Python. So let's dive right into, into what I did and, and the motivation of this video. So when I googled Fibonacci Fibonacci Python today I found that there are a lot of algorithms that solve this problem already and most of them are quite easy to understand Okay, so the Fibonacci series it's uh, um, so let's open an, an app and drawing board so that we can I can show you the, the series Okay, so now here we have the board and the Fibonacci series is just a series of numbers so it starts with zero then we have one, so those are the first two numbers defined in the Fibonacci series and now we calculate the next number as the sum of the previous two numbers. Okay, so in this case we have 0 plus 1, so like this one plus this one and the sum is 1. Okay, and now we have a new number, so now we can calculate the next series element as the sum of those two numbers. Okay, so we take those two numbers together and um, calculate or sum them together and so the next series element is 2. Okay, and now we can repeat this. So the next series element is 3. Now we add 3 plus 2, which is 5, and so on, okay? And um, yeah, this, this um, series, the Fibonacci series, has many, many applications in the um, real world. So it, is, it appears anywhere in, uh, in design, in uh, science, in biolo biology, and so on. So for example, you, you like in snakes, uh, the way the snakes... Um, this, the, I mean, don't ask me details, but the way the, uh, <laughs> the snake house is designed, it's, um, uh, it's very, and so it can be described uh, by the Fibonacci series and so on. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of motivation, a lot of um, uh, buzz around the, the Fibonacci series. And it's created by uh, Italian mathematician Fibonacci. So it's, it's his original name was actually actually Leonardo of Pisa. So he came from Pisa and it was introduced in the year 1202. Maybe this is one of the reasons why the series is so popular because it's already a very old established concept in mathematics. So uh, now you have seen uh, small like uh, where does it come from? What are the numbers? Um, the, we, we have a series starting with 0 and 1 and then each following series element is just the sum of the previous two uh, series elements. And um, so now we want to write this in a single line of code. Uh, first we introduce some dependencies. So this is only necessary for Python uh, 3 because in Python 2 the reduce function which we will use uh, is already introduced, already built in function. So just, uh, just in Python uh, uh, to uh, uh, Python 3 you need to import uh, the reduce function from the func tools mod uh, module and say we want to compute 10 Fibonacci elements so we set n to 10 and now we want to calculate the series in one line of code. So we create um, basically a FIPS. Um, this is uh, our Fibonacci series and now we uh, FIPS variable and we assign the result of the reduce function to the to our Fibonacci series okay and um, so and our, our reduce function basically takes two things. So it takes uh, So if you if you open up the reduce function The first um, The first argument is uh, a function. This is a reduce fu the function to be reduced uh, the function that uh, shows us how how we can reduce uh, um, Two series elements and then we have a series uh, collection type. So these are the two arguments we have to define uh, to basically create the Fibonacci series. Now what are we doing? So we have, we start, this is our start value, our series, we start with the two ser series elements 0 and 1. Okay, And now we, we need to um, reduce two series elements to a third uh, series element, so um, to the next series element and we use the lambda Function. So we take two, two, two arguments, say x, y. Again, the reduce function, it repeatedly, and maybe I have to open a drawing board again to show you the conceptual meaning of the reduce function. So re reduce function, so say, say we have a sequence. So, so one, two, three, four, Five and so on, yeah. And so the reduce function now it simply takes two sequence elements and performs a reduce 
operations. So this can be, for example, a plus, it can be a multiplication, it can be any custom um, aggregation function that creates one element out of two elements, okay? So and now this, for example, if it is the sum, so the plus, then we reduce those two values to a new series element three. And now we have, now our new um, series has only, has one element less, yeah? So we have reduced two elements to one element, so we have one, one element less in our series. Now we can reduce those two elements together, those are six. Now we say we reduce those two elements together, we obtain 10. Now we reduce those two elements together, we obtain 15. And now this one is the only series element left, so we cannot reduce it anymore, and this would be the result of the reduce function, okay? So this is how the reduce function works. And um, yeah, this is what we are going to do here. So we have the, we define a lambda function that takes two arguments x and y and reduce those arguments to to what? Um, so x x will be our x will be our initial. Um, so basically, we need to um, yeah, so x will be x will be our um, our series that, which we have already generated. So we start with this series, so this will be our first value of x. And now we want to simply append the next Fibonacci element to this, so we, we need the plus operation, the list concatenation. So we have a, a list as input here, and we concatenate this list with the next Fibonacci element. So here, in this list, we want to place one element, which is the next Fibonacci element. And how do we calculate this? Yeah, very simple, we use x minus two, which is the second last element, and we add x, minus one, so we use the negative indexing. Uh, negative index minus one refers to the last element in the sequence and minus two refers to the second last element in the sequence, okay? So we get the sequence as input. The sequence initially is um, uh, zero, one. So this is the initial element and this is passed as the x value. So this is one element of our uh, uh, sequence and, and this element is concatenated with the new Fibonacci element with a list of one element, which is the new Fibonacci element, and uh, so this is the result of the reduce function. Okay, uh, so this is how how our reduce function works. But now we have to pass the following list. So this is just a list of some um, dummy values. So we basically we create a list using this multiplication uh, of zeros and um, this is our initial um, list, basically. Yeah. So we have the. Um, how can I describe this best? So, uh, so the second argument. This is a. It's the next element from the iterable. So if you initialize the iterable with n minus two dummy elements. So we have n minus two dummy elements. So if you want to generate n sequence elements, like n is ten. Now we create n minus two dummy elements, like this, and um, and. Yeah, we simply force the reduce function to execute the function n minus two times. This is the ba the basic idea. Okay, so we have the um, this is our list which we want to aggregate, kind of. So we want to aggregate. So therefore, um, therefore the reduce function will be called n minus two times to aggregate all these values together. And now here we define how to aggregate this and what is the initial value of x. So this one defines the initial value of x. So the initial value of x is just the sequence, and we pass. Um, this y, which is actually we don't uh, need this y, so the second element to be to be reduced. So maybe let's have an example in uh, in our drawing board. So I open again the drawing board, and let's try to um, to formulate this as an example. Okay, so. the code okay so our reduce function say n is this is an n n is say uh, five so we want to uh, find uh, five five elements five Fibonacci elements now what is our initial sequence which we with which we start it's zero and we have we multiplied five times yeah uh, five minus two, so we basically have three elements. So this is our initial sequence, uh, which we want to reduce kind of, yeah? So this it's, it's kind of a quick trick. So this is our, our sequence, which, which we want to reduce. And we start now, now we always reduce two sequence element, and now we can either 
So what I already showed you is that we take two sequence elements and we reduce them together, okay? But this is not what we are doing now. Now we have to find also the third argument of the reduce function, which is this. this it's a list, it's, a, it's an element, a list object, um, consisting of two elements, which are the initial sequence elements, so zero and one. And now we take this one as the first x value. So again, we have the reduce function that, that takes two arguments. The first argument is the first series element and the second one is x. So this, is, this was in our code x, this is initially, initially x is zero, one. So this is what, what the um, third argument of the reduce function is for. Okay, so we take this zero and we take this zero, one. And basically we throw away this value. We don't care about this zero. It's just a dummy value. It just forces the reduce function to be executed um, n minus two times. And n minus two because we already have two series elements. Okay, so we have zero, one. And now we, here in the function, we, we, we have zero one, which is our value for X. And we simply add the last two um, elements in our current list X, which we are currently passed to the reduce function and add them together and generate the list zero one, two, yeah, because we add them together. So this is now one execution of our reduce function. Okay, what we are doing next is we take this aggregated value here, which we just generated, and we take one value from our list, which is again the zero. We take this one as a new value for x, and we th basically again throw away the, the dummy value, which we have just created by just ignoring it, just doing nothing with it. And we generate our new x. Maybe let's zoom a bit out. We generate our new x as the um, concatenation of the of our old x, which is zero one two, and the newly generated Fibonacci element, which is one plus two, the sum of the uh, last two elements in the sequence, which is uh, zero one two three. Now this is our new aggregated value from the reduce function, and now we take again the third value here. And we aggregate the third value with our, with our sequence. So we aggregate those, but we basically ignore this. So we simply concatenate our existing sequence of 0, 1, 2, 3. And we add together the last two series element, which is 3 plus 2. So we obtain 5. And this is our final aggregated value. There's no, no value left in our uh, or original list, which we want to reduce. So because we have touched all of them, and so therefore this is the final result of the reduce function and this is exactly what we wanted to accomplish. So we wanted to accomplish n equals five, so five Fibonacci elements and we have created a list of five Fibonacci elements. Okay, so this is how the algorithm works. Um, if you are interested in these Python one-liners, this, this is one chapter of my book, Python one-liners. Uh, it appeared in 2020, May, and uh, it's one of the best books I have uh, written because, because of the great support I uh, received from the No Starch um, editors and the No Starch professionals. So the No Starch is, I would say, the best publishing house for uh, computer science and programming books, especially for Python books. So check out uh, the, my new book, Python One-Liners. It will uh, teach you the power of a single line of Python code. And I will give a link in the description below. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye.